topics today i'm going to show you how the pc monitoring system is work in the act tower software so first you have to be log into your actower.com then you can go to the login then login with your company id so your company id login so you can you have in the department here you can check how many the department and employee and you can add the new employee from here just go to add new employee add the employee id email id and the detail you can give them journey date then save so once you save the employee you can view the employee here but this is a new saved employee is still not active for monitoring pc first you have to go to subscription go to employee you can see this old employee is active and is active date when it started so you can go to the second one proceed to payment so you can select this employee for one month two months three months then pay by selecting for the one month then i pay so done now this employee become active so you can set this employee profile for going to employee view go to the employee here you can select this profile pc monitoring enable the pc monitoring and screenshot interval how long it will take screenshot every how many minutes pop up to work one pop up will show on the screen if the guy is stopped working so you can set here four minute two minute if i did not touch any mouse or keyboard so software will show me one pop up so when you save the data will be saved here so at that dashboard you can check employees where how many employees right now is zero hour zero hour so when the employees work you can see here hour how many hour and you can see the computer screenshot directly here. how how long they are working everything what they are doing on the pc everything and that in the report you can see pc screenshot report task report task you can set from the task first you have to set the group i add a new group I just add the service task this is a group name not the task this is a task group name after this we are going to add add the task here so we can select the task group from here service task and code Task code is up to you. Task name. Save. So your task will be saved. And new task. So how many tasks you want so you can save all the tasks there so your task will be available here. so each employee you can provide the task group you can edit from here employee you can edit the employee from here task group you just go to task select the which task group this guy follow i select the service task and so employee so e username is his email id default password is one two three okay now we have to do one thing we go to the local software every pc you have to install this software so just click the setup system will install the software select for everyone next next every pc every employee pc you have to install this 
software. So once you install done, so once you install done software, you can open the software from the icon. This small eye icon will show you on that desktop. So here you can put the employee email ID. And password is what you decide the password. You can select the remember me, click login. So system will log in with the employee task which we created at the which we created at the website here. So all the tasks here, these two tasks are showing in the employee profile. So when the employee start working on the task, employee should be select the task, click the play button. So system will start working. So right now system will start working is tracking the time for that employee. So this system will automatically taking the screenshot. So employee can minimize the software from here and do his work can continue whatever the employee is doing. So every three minutes as per our setting from here, we can see inside the employee. As per our setting here, every three minutes, system will take the screenshot of the employee PC. If the employee did not touch the keyboard and mouse until four minutes, system will pop up. Are you working? If employee react on the pop up and start working, pop up will be go away. If employee did not react on anything, that time, this time will be stopped automatically until that time only so when your employee come to again to the pc so that will be start again so let's we wait for three uh, four minutes to be show the pop-up so i fast forward the time in the video so like this you can see one pop-up is appear on the screen okay so if i react on the pop-up continue working then it will time is continue right now you can see my time is already stopped on four minutes 15 seconds so if i continue working i can come back to my work then i start the time from here so this all the time is automatically synchronized to our system so from the system employees so we can check all the time will automatically come to our system and screenshot everything will be come to the system in the reports so we can see multiple report screenshot report task report productivity report for each employee on the each task unproductive or productive and after this you can see application uses report how many application your employees use like as a he using whatsapp or something anything the all report will be come here so other things so so this is a system you can see all the screenshot everything right here